In this video, we're going to explore how to evaluate different variable expressions. And to start, we're going to look at the expression a plus b when a equals 5 and b equals 15. Now, the first thing we need to pay attention to is the fact that we have variables. And variables are basically letters or symbols that are taking the place or, or holding the place for some unknown quantity. So in this case here, we have a plus b. Now we're also specifically told that a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 15. So we're going to use that information to help us evaluate this expression. Now in addition to the uh, mathematics involved here, we're also going to be paying specific attention to how we set up the problem. We're going to establish some, some expectations regarding how we do work in math. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by writing the question down. So a plus b. And the next thing I'm going to do, or my very first sort of math step, is I'm going to substitute the value of the variables. So my first step is to replace the variables with values. Replace the variables with values. And those values can come from lots of different places. Maybe it's something we've measured. Maybe it's something that we know from a word problem. But the key thing is we need to replace those variables with values. And so to do that, I'm going to do another line of work. Now just like in, uh, in, in writing, when you start each new line with a capital letter, in math you start each line with an equal sign. It's the way of saying that this is a new line of work and this line of work is equal or is the same value as the line above it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change those variables into values. So I see that my A is a 4 based on what I highlighted above and my 50, B is a 15. Now, there's one additional thing you need to do here, and it has to do with how we communicate that something was once a variable. And that is that we are going to put these in parentheses. So the key part of this is we need to use parentheses. And once again, what that's telling us is it's telling us that the value or that those, those particular values used to be variables. And that's important when we start working with formulas because you want to know is a particular number part of the formula itself or is it some value that has come from some measurement elsewhere. So now our final step is just to evaluate this which is to add 4 plus 15 which is 19. So that becomes our evaluation step. So once again sort of two main steps here the first step is to substitute or to replace the variables with their values, and then we're actually going to work it out. As far as the details are concerned, the things we need to pay attention to are the fact that, first of all, we have been using parentheses when we replace the variables with values, and then the second big thing to pay attention to is that we have started each of those lines with an equal sign, and ideally those equal signs are lined up one under the other. We're going to do another example here just to kind of put this all together and in this case we will um, we will evaluate a times b and in this case a will be equal to 7 and b will be equal to 3. So same sort of idea here we have a variable a and we know its value over here and we have a second variable b and we know its value over here. So just like we did previously, we'll start by writing our question down, a times b, and then we will put an equal sign to indicate our next line of work, and we'll substitute the values of the variables. So a we're told is 7, and b we're told is 3. But once again, not forgetting our parentheses, we'll put both of those inside of parentheses. And, and once again, you know, that may seem like a silly step, but it's a convention that we use in mathematics. And then our second line, and we go 7 times 3 is 21. So once again, just as a, uh, as a reminder of the important pieces here, we need to make sure that we are using those parentheses and we have equal signs at the beginning of each line of 